you monster. You. You caused this. You know nothing. Don't try to comprehend something your adult mind couldn't understand. You could have prevented this. Yeah, even if I could, you still her. I didn't know she was 14. You can't tell anymore. Your way? Dead end. Avoid their gaze! What? It's their eyes! Don't look in their eyes! Fuck. We just might get out of this. I offer you a proposition, Mr. Church. You can still get out of this game. Go to hell. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Interesting that at the time of death people find God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Nothing but lost words. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. You can win this way.
the hell is going on here? Where am I? Hello? <coughs> What's going on here? Where am I? What's going on? We all woke up here. <coughs> Anybody have a cigarette? <coughs> Kid? You want to wait another 30 seconds and ask us again? How'd we get here? I don't know. What's the last thing you remember? I was at home. I, I would... How long have we been here? What... What day is this? What's your name, dear? Janet. Did you hurt yourself before? No. I'm Vera, Janet. Met you guys. Brian. This guy? Fucking know his name. He ain't talking. Guy, do you know why we're here? Judging from your bruise on your head, I'd say you've been here. You've been here. Maybe four, five days? Four or five days? Jesus, what about him? This guy? This fucking guy smelled like shit since I've been here. There's got to be a door somewhere. There's got to be a door. That's it, guys. Now, why didn't we think of that? There's got to be a door. There isn't. Who are you, Janet? Maybe that will help solve the puzzle. Jesus, they've had me on intravenous. There's got to be a secret door. What did we overlook? Anything? Nothing. Shyster, anything? No. Hey. How'd you know I was a lawyer? Your Santa Claus disposition, those shoes. <laughs> Help him! He's having a seizure! Great. Look at this. Who would do this to him? Who did this? Vera? No. No. It couldn't be. Vera, what did this? It's not true. Vera, what did this? No. No! Hey. No! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Calm down. Back, back up, let him breathe. Why? 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 Here, what the f is going on? Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! He's a f kiss. Don't bite me! You looking no for a client? Don't bite me! Don't bite me! No bite me! No bite me! Hey, no one's gonna bite you. No bite! 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 What is your name? I'm Brian. What is your name? I'm Brian. Need me? I'll be in the West Wing. Brian. 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 Janet. Janet. Shyster. Who are you? Who are you? Peter? Great. Talk to the 
Why don't you ask him who bit him? No! No! Peter! Grab him! All right! Grab him! No! 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 no, no, no. He's insane! What the is going on here? We've had no food, no water. What do you want? All will be explained. Oh yeah, you got some explaining to do. Like, where the f*** is my watch? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Someone help me. Well, help them. What do you want with us? Before we begin, finish. What's your f Mr. Jobinon, I would prefer if you refrain from vulgarities. F you. Where's my f watch? Perhaps I should clarify. The one you're carrying is Mr. Peter Church. He's the one who offended me the least. Peter Church? You know him? He's a high-profile criminal lawyer. He's been missing for five years. There were others. Dead. You want us dead? They are. Are you gonna kill us? Not if you kill each other first. What does that mean? Kill each other first. Bravo, Miss Montgomery. Who are you? My name is Captain Theolonius Rylos. I was born in Nice, France, in the year 1754, born to a man of the cloth. You think you're 250 years old? You're insane! Quiet. Tell me to be quiet, geriatric. I would listen to her if I were you. You might learn something useful. In 1789, during the storming of the Bastille, we encountered some resistance and almost lost the battle. The events were turned, and the day was won when I was embraced by General Henri Laurent Champlain. I knew this out of gale. Shut up. Look at the way he's dressed. Mr. Jobidan, I grow tired of hearing your voice. He's the perfect example of why the likes of you are here. Way to center me out. I've been alive for 250 years. I've seen sights that would drive you insane. I have witnessed and caused governments and world leaders to crumble and fall. What are you? Dr. Vera Nichols, I'm a vampire, but you already know that. Oh, well, that's impossible. <laughs> you serious, Dracul? I mean, that, that may work with the little boys that you try to attract. But unless you tell me what I'm doing here... I've grown sick and disgusted with the way society has progressed. That's turned into nothing but a, a sick and perverse entity that must be taught a lesson. By you? Yes, by me. I have seen the change. The world has become nothing but a cesspool of degradation and sin. What do you want? Money? Where's my checkbook? Listen, freaky. All right, I'm playing with your ass no more. In due time, Shiv. Isn't that what your peeps call you, Shiv? If you quiet down, I will begin.
You five are chosen for one particular reason. Sin and savior, cause and effect. Black and white. Sin and savior? What the f does that mean? You are my guests in a game. You will use each other's wits and intelligence to try to negotiate the maze of my lair. Should any one of you make it out alive, then you will inherit my entire fortune. You'd better listen, for it might save your life. You will receive my entire fortune, for that will mean I am dead. Okay, wait, wait. What kind of cash are we talking about? I say we teach this velvet helmet ass boy what the meaning of pain is. Take his lunch money, send him home crying to his mother. Mr. Mackenzie, you have the street smarts. You know that's not the wisest course of action. No, that's not the way you were. You, you're like the alligator. You lay in wait from a still position, waiting, waiting for the right time to react. And you snap your steel jaws and hold and spin. And when the time is right, you drag your victim to bottom of the swamp. I'm giving you an opportunity to play the game. Use your wits and intelligence and possibly win more money than you could ever imagine. Giving us an opportunity? Don't you mean forcing it upon us? You have until done. Should any one of you make it out of life, the money is yours. Should you survive and not finish, then you become the victim of my hunger. Until the next game. This is preposterous. If you want a victim, take me. Let these people go. He wants more than a victim. He wants entertainment. Entertainment? He chose me because he thinks I'm a threat. That's what I teach. Vampires, werewolves. Those are kids' stories. Then welcome to the fairy tale. When the clock chimes midnight, the hunt begins. Hunt? You said amazed. We're being hunted too? By Vu? Us. Us? Wait a minute. There's an us? Suck your guy. Has there ever been any winners? I mean, any survivors? Just him. <laughs> Where did he go? I doubt he was ever in the room. All right, Grandma. What the f is going on here? Could they be real? If you know about them, then you know how to beat them. You believe this? Magician with some mirrors. Regardless of whether it's true or not, we still need to protect ourselves. How? Is anybody here a, a priest or a rabbi? Yeah, I'm a rabbi. Nothing legit. What do you mean? Yeah. Were you ordained? Yeah, but not in Christianity. You've got to bless the objects. Bless objects. Yeah, for them to have any effect on him, they have to be blessed by a representative of God. I'm not a representative of God. Man, this shit is whack. I ain't hanging around listening to a bunch of dumb white folks talk about some vampire. Now, regardless of whether this is true or not, do you want to end up like this guy? Or do you want to work together so we can survive this? Why is there always some dyke that wants us to work together? Listen, shyster. Either you're a part of the solution or you're a part of the problem. Now stop being a part of the problem and shut your a-hole for half a second. Because I think that you need a, a little bit of action. Masturbate. What did you say? Masturbate. Freaky porno did I walk into? Your fear gland is close to the sex gland. If your sex gland is at ease, it'll cause your fear gland to be less active. Peter, what's happening? It's a game. You're all in a game. We know that. Your fear. He thrives on your fear. You're listening to him? 
What do you want? Stock advice too? You're a lawyer. How does everybody know that? He likes lawyers. Greg. You better masturbate. <laughs> yeah? The sh my pants count? Don't worry, Peter. We'll get you out of here. Don't worry. How do you propose to do that? I don't know, but I'll get us out of here somehow. So who made you lead? I did. <laughs> Not my mother. Yeah, well, I don't see any of you offering any solutions. Yeah? Well, I don't see you sucking my I mean, maybe you should take Cake Boy's suggestion over there and kill two birds with one bone. Stop it. Janet, why you? I'm a cop. <laughs> get out of my face. Make me. I could emasculate you all day, tough guy. What? What do you do? I'm an engineer. Shiv, what do you do? Sam, we need your help. Hey, Y'all do what the f you want to do, man. Getting out of here. Shiv, we could use your help, your street knowledge. Oh, that's all you see, huh? Just some kind of punk ass criminal. No, I see a guy with resources we can use. Quiet, quiet. One o'clock? Quarter hour. Quiet. What's that? I don't want to hang around and find out. Hey, we should go. He said 12. Well, maybe our objector lied to us. It was a signal to start. Well, where is it coming from? We just came from there. What do we do with him? Wacko? Leave him. Like we'll leave you? He's gonna slow us down. Hey, we take him. Grab an arm. Come on. Come on. Hold them up a little bit higher. Man, how'd I get this detail? Pick it! What? Well, give me no attitude now, okay, Greg? Pick the lock. Being chased. Look, man, we need to get into that room. If you do it, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Where are we? We're running. It's no use. What's going on? Lock door. Pick it. I need my tools. Janet, what took you so long? I had to bar the door. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know what they are, but this is unnatural. They're vampires. They need some wood. Oh, there's the table, but that's keeping them out. Get it. We need it. We'll let them in. It doesn't matter. You heard him. This is a maze. They've probably found another way around. Janet. Here, here, Tim. coming.
죽여! Care if any of you live or die, Brian. I don't know why bad things happen to good people, but there's nothing anyone can do to bring your daughter back. Been here before, man. It's like we're going in circles. Put him down. Can we rest? Tell me about these things. They're not vampires. They're very sick people. What kind of sickness is it? 
It's a very rare disease. Have you ever heard of porphyria? No. Well, in your body you have hemoglobin. Mm -hmm. Porphyria is a lack of heme in your red blood cells. Heme? <laughs> yes, heme. You see, when you lack it, you develop adverse reactions to garlic, sunlight, your lips recede, so it looks as if you've got fangs. And because you lack it, you crave blood. So they're just people? Mm -hmm. Essentially. But when they feed on normal individuals, they transfer the disease into their bloodstream. Well, how do they survive without food? Well, blood contains all the nutrients that you require to survive. In our bodies, we transform solids into liquids in order to make it more absorbable. This simply bypasses the process. So they're nothing but diseased blood drinking people. Hmm. It's not that simple. You see, they eventually become insane. And they'll do anything to obtain blood, even kill for it. Tell me about this course. It was the science behind the myth. But you yourself don't believe in vampires, so why would he care if someone disproves that vampires are real? I really don't know. Okay. Let's pretend they're real. Pretend? Yes, pretend, for the sake of argument. Well. The minions of succubi that you see running around, they're not really vampires. So what are they then? You see, this is going to sound ludicrous. Try us. They would be the undead. The undead? So they're not vampires? No. To become a vampire, you have to drink the blood of the head vampire. <laughs> How do you know they haven't drank the head vampire's blood? They're very weak. Is it possible? No, of course not. How do you kill them? Same way you'd kill anyone. You shoot them in the head. Hurry up, man. This guy stinks. Man, I'm trying. Try harder. Just imagine it's a bag of crap. What the fuck is going on here? What do you think these words mean? I don't know. What was the last one? Prudence. Clues. Faith, prudence, shares kids? No, God. Faith in God. Why would a vampire have faith in God? Maybe he knows there is a God. How? You want to tell me that? How would he know? Because he's seen the devil. <laughs> They're close. He can... He can sense them. We've got to get into a doctor. Are they coming? I don't know. I can't hear anything. I'll carry him. Fine by me. 
Very, he's gone. It's the first good thing to happen to us. Let it go. Clever that you should bring an ordained minister to fend off the succubi, and ordained far back enough that I wouldn't check. No. No. You've become a thorn, Mr. Church. Please. No. Are there any more surprises I should be aware of? No. No more. No more. I can't trust you. No. Janet, you on the take? No. That incident with your partner, you haven't killed because you were on the take. You are the biggest on the entire planet. Yeah, maybe. But at least I wasn't on the take. Yeah? And getting a known felon free in a technicality isn't on the take? I was doing my job. When was the last time you looked for a fact instead of a loophole? That determines what side of the law you're on. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it was you that worked that punk's case and got him out of jail. So? Still dealing. This time sending his brother. We all have choices. Well then why should anyone else be blamed for my choice? Hey, it wasn't my daughter's choice to be gunned down in your little war. Man, decent people need to stay off the streets. Why? It's decent people who built them. You don't know nothing. If it's all caused by you. Man, f you. You think I was born this way? Oh, you think like this just happens? No, 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 of course not. What? Was your brother all hopped up on drugs at the time? Man, f you. You don't know. F <laughs> My brother wanted to be a designer, man. Designer drugs? F man, a building designer. And he was designing an underground. He was supposed to go to university. He just couldn't get in. See, when you're black, your marks just don't do it for you. I'm on the admissions committee. What was his name? <laughs> don't matter now, man. What was his name? Marcel. Oh, finally. Is he all right? He's been a bit. Temperance? It means temper? Control your temper? I know you. Heavenly virtues. The what? The seven heavenly virtues. You know, like the seven deadly sins, right? Yeah, that's like don't steal it. Ten commandments? Yeah, faith, hope, charity, temperance, justice. 
Um, prudence and fortitude. Oh, what, you shocked the f***ing niggas gonna know the Bible, man? We've gotta figure out what it means. Temperance, um... Look, maybe in this room, guys, we all play nice. We can't trust that. Well, we exhibited faith in the last room. We had someone with faith. Yeah, but what's prudence besides that Joan Lennon song? It's curbing your sexual desires, but... It doesn't make any sense. We can all see that she wants me. Blow me. Why not? You got the biggest cock out of everyone here. It could fall under being humble. Under God or something. Okay, look. Let me break it down. If I had a crayon, I'd spell it out. So Janet could understand. One more and you taste your nads. All right, I'm sorry. He's up. Hey, guy, you all right? He'll be fine. Well, whatever it is, we have another four rooms we've got to get through. Yeah. But in charity, we get them Lincolns. Yeah. We still have to get through fortitude and justice. Well, let's find the secret room, secret door. How do we fight these things? I can't ward them off all at once. I was taking out like 30 at a time. Those things are weak. <laughs> Look at you, man. Vampire killer, huh? Yeah, that's right. Big girl, y'all. Don't get him mad. Trust me, I was thinking about joining them so I wouldn't have to hang around with you and Shyster. Hey, I have a name. Yeah, and I have a cunt, but I won't be using that here either. Hey man, what's, what's your real name? Sam, man. Hey Sam. Yo. Any ideas? Nah. Me neither. Yeah. It's a. You guys talking about me? Nah, you would f know if we was talking about you, you know, but. Nobody in the room said the word skank compass lately. I just thought I heard. <laughs> Sam. What's Sam McKenzie? Yeah, man. Weren't you at the university for, for track? Yeah, it was me. You ran 100 meters in like. 10.19 seconds. Yeah, that was me, man. Shit, man. What, what happened to you? My knee. Fuck, man. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. You, uh... You had a gift. Yeah. It was all fucking them, too. What do you mean? I mean, they blew out my knee. How? Now they had me on this drug. It didn't help me run fast or nothing, you know. It just, just helped me with my workouts. Stenazitol. Yes. Yeah, gave me this power, you know. Too much power. I mean, my muscles didn't know to quit. My knee sure f***ing did, though. How long ago was this? Man, that was like five years ago. Is that your district? What do you want about? Drug dealing. You have the university. Hey, get the f*** out of here, man. That's why you still hang around. Well, I still don't know why I'm here. Hey, you managed to keep a drug dealer on the streets. <laughs> right. And, and he said you were on the take? I wasn't on the take. Well, we're paid to look the other way. You don't know what you're talking about. I never once took a bribe. <laughs> well, then your partner was the f plan. I'm just saying, man. It wasn't you. It was your boy. Well, what about Brian? I told you. My daughter. Well, that doesn't answer why you'd be here. So what about your daughter? I don't know. How can you know the 
the mind of a madman. He paid me off. What? I was on the admissions committee. You paid me off. You bribed your way into the school? It's the big deal. She didn't have the grades, so I greased the palm. <laughs> How on Rochdale of you? The f does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. Grandma? To admit someone, we had to not admit someone. So? To not admit someone who deserved to get in. Someone who got in of their own accord. You took away someone's chance at schooling? Well, what if that was all they had? Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just paid off a committee to admit my daughter, and I didn't know that they had to kick another kid out. <laughs> that is monumentally naive. Yeah. Who was it, Vera? Marcel. The bad Stop it! Talking about. No. Oh. Who's gonna get out, man? I didn't know. Oh, oh and that's it's okay. I knew. We had to choose someone. We picked the one we thought was least likely to make it to the end of the year. Fuck all y'all, man. It was wrong. I know. Now we know why you're here. I don't get it, man. This shit always gotta happen to me. Hey. I don't even know what I'm doing here. You never will, shyster. Hey. What do you smell, boy? <sighs> <sighs> Years. That's how long he's been missing. Well, how long after you're bitten does it take to turn? A day, a couple of days, sooner if it's a real powerful one. So he's only been bit recently. Right. Well, I don't get it. What does it mean? The succubi can't turn you. No, no, he wasn't part of the last game. So? So there's more going on here than what we believe. Okay. What? I don't know. What about saving him? If we kill the head vampire within 24 hours after the embrace, yeah. he'll be fine. He's coming back. What are you doing here?
Where the fuck are we? How did you know his name was Sam? What are you talking about? Shiv. You called him Sam earlier. How did you know his first name? Riles, he called him. No, 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 he called him Shiv and Mr. McKenzie. I made a mental note of it. Well, then when he was at the university. That was five years ago. He was there for maybe a term. What are you saying? You run the drugs out of the university. You have no proof of that. No? My partner was on the take. He told me all about you. I didn't piece it together until now. Chuck's a liar. I did nothing of the sort. <sighs> How did I know his name was Chuck? You killed my partner. It wasn't my fault. No? Whose was it? You could have done something, remember? You were on the coin, too. I was to stay out of things. No one was supposed to get hurt. Well, then I guess you didn't do your job either, did you? Brian? Brian, is that you? Bro, Marcel. Brian, is that you? I don't think that's Brian. Chuck. I remember when they made you my partner. Good God, Chuck. Janet, that's not Chuck. My wife was so jealous. She didn't want it. I'm so sorry. I told you you were like a sister to me. She saw it too. She believed you would never hurt me. I convinced her. I convinced her that you never would. Chuck! Janet. Why'd you do it? Oh my god, Chuck. I... You killed me, Janet! No, no, you got it all wrong. Janet, it's not Chuck. Stay back. You gave me the signal to shoot. You knew that girl was there. You were on the take. You were my partner. Partners are supposed to stick by each other. How are we supposed to do the job if we aren't honest? You were crooked. You should have stood with me, Janet. You were going to have me killed. I heard the phone tapes. I heard it all. You knew I was legit. You were conspiring to take me out because I wouldn't crack. You were taking money from Smith. We never found Smith. I was led to believe that you were the leak. We had a list of rogue cops and you were on it. How much? Christ, Chuck, you don't get it. You don't get it. They told me you were crooked. They used us against each other. But you never believed it yourself. It was the money that made you crack. You were rogue. And you're my little sister. Smith got to you. Don't make me kill you. You deserve to pay. Where you been, man? I'm working <laughs> on my jump shot. What's up, man? What's up? Bet I could beat you now. And maybe they'll take me on a b-ball scholarship. Don't even be whack, man. <laughs> well, how long, man? How long before we have enough dough to get me in? Don't even worry, man. I got one more job to do. You know? Big score. Some lawyer do. Yeah? Yeah. 
That's great, man. That's great. You like that? I need you to make the drop, though. Hey, what, you want me to go to school, man? So I can make drops for you? Nah, man. I just can't make that. I need you to do it. I've never done this before, Sam. And that's easy. I trust you. Tell me again what it's like. What? A drop? Nah, oh, man. The chicks at the university. <laughs> man, them chicks are fucking stroking. Yeah? Yeah. And they love that black cock, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't remember, Sam. Did I ever give you the cash? No. I'm sorry. Did I lose it? I didn't mean to lose it. It wasn't like my baseball glove, Marcel. I mean, people were after my ass. I had to handle my business. I'm sorry. I know. I'm cold, Sam. I'm cold. Damn, Marcel. I know. You said nothing would happen to me. Man, how was I supposed to know? I just wanted to make buildings. I mean, what we did to make God angry like this. I love you, bro. Talk about this? Daddy, the police were here. If you finish packing, we're gonna be late. What did they want? They had to ask me a few questions. What about? Nothing. And don't forget an extra pillow. They said you were seen with Vito Sabatino. Who told you that? It's not important. He's a gangster, Daddy. Who told you that? The police. He's a friend from college. Daddy? Yes, sweetheart. You still haven't told me how I got into university with my grades. We managed to pull a few strings. We? You mean Vito Sabatino? He's a friend. You love me, don't you? Of course I do, sweetheart. Promise me you'll stop. Nicole, I'm not doing anything wrong. How did I get in? Vito is an alumni. He managed to pull a few strings with the admissions committee. You just said he was a college friend. You went to City College. Nicole, we knew each other while I was in college. Where is this coming from? We didn't do anything wrong. Call you if I have trouble with my homework? Of course you can, sweetheart. I love you, Daddy. Cool. Yeah, Daddy? I love you, too. I want you to be proud of me, Daddy. I am. I'm very proud of you, sweetheart. Very proud. Good. You were Smith. No. Someone higher. Fear I gotta know, was he? Proof that the tapes were forged? Yes. I set up an innocent man.
the money. You wanted to believe. Yeah, I guess I did. This is why I'm here. Not that I didn't know, but I didn't believe. Yeah. I never thought you were a bad cop. You know, those things I told you earlier about the disease? Yes, yes. It was crap. I, I was wrong. Enough. Mr. Jobidan, you've been a very bad man. Rigging the court system. I never made the law. You free confessed criminals. I never did anything illegal. Jury tampering, witness bribing, withholding evidence. You're a very unusual one, Mr. Jobbit, and at this point of the game, most people find God. Well, given my current situation, I really don't think he's listening. But I am giving you a chance at life, Mr. Jobbit. What about the others? Would you like to leave this place, never to return again? Are they still alive? I offered the same deal to Mr. Church. Now I'm offering it to you. Why? Because we're lawyers? You can leave the maze right now, but you become my personal assistant. You investigate people, and you find a connection. What are you asking me to do? When you make a connection, you manipulate an event. He was right. Everything was a setup. The drug deal, the admissions to the committee, the paying of the cop. These were decent people. You manipulated them. It's all about autonomy, Mr. Jobidan. No one had to sell a drug. No one had to take a bribe. These were decent people, and you turned them into criminals. I give them the opportunity. It's up to them to take it. That's how you determine who you choose? Yes, that's correct. And now you want me to find them. I never set up innocent people. I just freed the bad ones. No one is innocent. What if I say no? Mr. Church eventually said no. We hunted him. He was my personal assistant for five years manipulating and executing four different games at once, including yours. All that time, gathering information on how to destroy me. When enough people had died, and he gathered enough information, he turned on me. What happened? Well, with his knowledge, he lasted 46 minutes longer than the average contestant. I need someone I can trust, Mr. Jobinan. I think I can trust you. Why me? You have the same content for society as I. This is true. Take my hand. Will I be fed upon? <laughs> Mr. Jobidon, your lawyer. Even vampires have standards. <laughs> okay. 
Am I free of this game? Yes, you are free of the game now. No one will harm you. What about the others? I'm afraid they don't have what I need. They're stuck in here? If they are still alive, yes. Okay. Let's go. Janet, how long have you been staying there? Let's see if immortality stops a bullet. You can't win this way. Set up right from the beginning. Your brother, the deal, everything. We weren't meant to make it back. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. We're missing a room. We can't be at the end. We are missing a room. Hope? There, there's no hope? No one lives. No one lives. If it comes down to one of us not escaping... I know. The game isn't over yet. Man, I finished your game. Let me go. I'm very impressed, Mr. McKenzie. Let me go! Not just yet. Why not? I was convinced there was no decent human beings left on this planet. That society has become so corrupted that people in guise of decency could be as corrupt as the most blatant criminal. So you're not too fond of people? I'm not too fond of vampires either. When I was made a vampire 200 years ago, I thought I could take this power and try to do something good with it. You chose this way. I did. We were involved in a war that decent people of France were losing out to a corrupt government. With this power, I could suddenly turn the war and win. The decent people became corrupt. You know your history. I know people. I created this game to prove myself that decent people still exist. That in the face of extreme adversity, they would follow the seven heavenly virtues and become victorious. All those people you killed, man. Mortal lives are fleeting. I did them a favor. So what now? We're not done here. You have one more vampire to kill. Yeah, and what if it's the other way around? 
I mean, you certainly got the advantage. That's not my problem. And what if I refuse? Who chooses death when there's still life left? <laughs> Haven't you learned anything tonight? Man, you're f***ing with me, man. Why are you here and the others not? What? Why are you here and the others not? I don't know. It was a test of character. Seven heavenly virtues. Which you are about to realize the final one. Charity. Charity. You miss my heart. I need you to turn the stake. Thrust and spin. No, no. Where's my money? There's no money. Man, f that. Man, after all you put me through tonight, I swear to God, I will take this out, man. No. My money, man. There's none. F man. I swear to God, I'll let you live. No. Finish me. Make me a vampire. No! Listen, I swear to God, if you don't turn me, no. I will keep you in agony for the rest of your miserable no. life, man. How long did it take you to find me, huh? 100 years? 200? How long till you find it again? Now do it! How long? One hour. I can feel it. What about saving him? <laughs>